Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It is me, your host, Andre Salazar, The Art of Comics. We're gonna do another one of these automatic drawings. So I've done the watercolors a number of times and um, I thought, you know, let's go back to really even more stripped down to just pencils and pens and things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just do a drawing and this is a warm up. So this is really an exercise in warming up and getting yourself kind of loose. I'm not trying to make anything. I'm not trying to illustrate or render anything particularly. It's just goofing around, okay? So we're just, I like, don't even know what I'm doing. And we're just gonna do it, okay? And you get a pencil, pencil, paper. You can use any kind of writing tool you want. And you just start doing it, okay? Wow, I see a face right there now, suddenly. <laughs> uh, look at that. But I don't want you to necessarily have to like come up with something into this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna draw. Well, that does become, that is becoming some sort of like, that is character from like Star Wars or something. I don't know, one of those dudes. It's like some old man, like one of those dudes. It's like, dude, come on, you know Star Wars. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And we're just kind of like loosening up our arms, our hands. Let's change, change tools here. Nope, we will not use that. <laughs> Maybe we'll actually go into this. Don't worry about a finished product, okay? Right now, we're just kind of like playing with it. We're just getting our mind loose. And we're just kind of like working with our hands. And this is a great exercise to do right as, right before you're about to draw, you know? So when you're gonna do some, some drawing, it's always good to loosen up. And people do this for, you know, half an hour. Maybe even longer. There's a great book called um, Nikolaides, I think he's Russian, did this book called Drawing the Natural Way. And um, comment if you know this book. It's pretty infamous, well regarded. It's, it's a, a philosophy basically of saying, okay, we're going to do practices and we're going to like teach ourselves the not only how to see but the kind of the mechanical nature of drawing and get ourselves to do these repetition like practices and um, reps and it's quite fascinating actually because you uh, you do all these little like exercises on doing the same thing over, uh, you know, uh, different contour sketches and mass gesture drawings, things like that. And to be honest, doing this right now with you is actually a challenge because I'm talking. And it'd be a lot easier to do this in silence. But by talking, I'm kind of engaging my brain, which is not what you want to do. You want to just let it go. So I'm gonna stop talking for a second.
those will be fancy. I'm just kind of playing with it, putting some textures and stuff on this. Could use our finger too if we wanted to, and just kind of. I could use my toothbrush, but I don't really feel like getting that much into this. Now he's almost got like a swamp thing quality, right, to it, but. I should put like a little. Also, when you want a lot of control, you hold your pencil tight, you know, as you know. But you can also hold it loose by just holding out to the end, and then you'll have your lines will be much more, um, they won't be as controlled, and they'll have a little bit more of kind of a interesting line. So, you know. A lot of artists do that. You can kind of see people that have this line. They're not doing this like that. They're they're holding it far away to give these kind of like lines and things. And maybe what we need actually is some vertical lines here. Just kind of
having fun with it. Again, not a, you know, we're not making a piece of art necessarily. We're just kind of goofing around, just being relaxed. I kind of like this little thing I'm doing here now. I'll do it on the other side too if I can. Notice I started with these big organic kind of like ovals and then I moved to these different kind of line types. You just go with what what floats your boat. I'm gonna put some circles in here too. A couple of circles. Happy circles. Happy trees. <clears throat> So I kind of want to go white just for a second. Let me just do this little, little called Presto. It's a little um, white out pen. I saw Jim Lee use it on a video he was doing, and I was like, oh, what's that? Like, it's kind of a cool little toy. And I went to a uh, the art store and picked one up. I'm like, okay. It's n not fine. It's, you know, you can see it's a big blob of mess, but um, for some things, it's, it's kind of fun. What if I touched it? Yeah, I can, I can kind of smear it too if I wanted to. So. Okay. I'll put some more blacks. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. It's kind of like following these shapes. Okay, there you go. So, it, that's all it is, guys. <laughs> just a quick little drawing, just a little sketch. It's just something fun, you know. And and this actually turned into something kind of, but you don't have to, it just can be whatever. Now, if we really wanted to be cool, we could put, um, we could, we could put all kinds of other stuff in here, but it's just for fun. There you go, a little automatic drawing, just kind of like sketching stuff out, doodling and seeing what comes out of it. Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to do these little tutorials every now and then for those of you who like them. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.